They came about an hour earlier than I was expecting them to, so I'm not ready for any of this yet. Um, <laughs> Good morning, friends. So we're starting off the day with room service breakfast. Um, I am a Fantastica guest, which on MSC, they have different experience levels. If you're Fantastica or above, your like continental breakfast is like essentially free or included. Um, it looks like they packaged everything up real nice, some pastries, bowls for cereal, etc. Um, they came about an hour earlier than I was expecting them to, so I'm not ready for any of this yet, um, but that's okay. I'm going to put it up on the vanity and, you know, eat it here in a bit, but uh, yeah, easy peasy. I just filled out the little card and they took it and now here it is. <laughs> we'll talk soon. All right, y'all. Another day, another dollar, as they say. Um, it is about noon-ish. Uh, I'm going to go spend some time up on the pool deck. Uh, dressed in my flamingo shirt today and um, whatever. Uh, not that that matters to you, but um, I like it. Um, did you know that a group of flamingos is called a flamboyance of flamingos? Have I said that before? Um, it's true. Look it up. Um, but anyway, yeah, so sea day today. I stayed up late last night, as you saw. Um, I did get breakfast this morning. I ate that and, well, ate some of that and then went back to sleep. And then... Um, now I'm gonna go do sea day stuff. Um, I think I'm gonna do Ola tacos for dinner tonight. So looking forward to that. I'm a huge fan of, especially their tortilla soup and stuff. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go check that out and um, go from there. But uh, yeah, I'll take you with me. We'll see what we see. We'll do what we do. And of course, we'll talk soon. So I made my way down the hall to the panoramic elevator and took that all the way up to the pool deck where of course people were already out living their best life. The pool deck is always quite crowded on sea days and especially on a big ship like this it's really hard to find loungers if you're not up super early. So I grabbed a seat at the bar instead and actually started my day off with a glass of water. Within a few minutes the entertainment team came out and started doing the games and activities and they had this like pugil stick type inflatable game which up until this point I'd never actually seen on a cruise ship before and it was pretty comedic to watch people, you know, try to take each other out with their little sticks. And then from there, I decided it was time to do my laps around the walking track. I did like three or four laps and then made my way over to the Marketplace Buffet for lunch. It was the heart of lunchtime at this point, but to my surprise, it wasn't too crazy busy in there. And they also had breakfast food still, which I was delighted by that. So I grabbed a plate of stuff, some pizza, some salad, some fruit, and some eggs, and then made my way back over to the pool bar. I was wanting to keep things on the lighter side since I had drank so heavily the night before, so I had Tito's and Spring Sprite and of course a bottle of water and hung out with my bartenders there. And I sipped nice and slow while I people watched from the vantage point of the pool bar. But then I decided I wanted to go do the water slide so I went down to my room and changed and then made my way back up to the water slide complex. Unfortunately there was no one there to record me on the slides but I did ride all three of them. I think the tube ones are really fun but I'm still not a fan of the toilet bowl one. Those body slides can be pretty rough but at least on these slides you don't get stuck halfway down like you do on some of the older ships. But from there I decided I decided to make my way down the stairs and over to the pub. After fun in the sun, it's always really refreshing to go in there and cool off with a nice cold beer. And I of course had my usual Dos Equis, but I also tried a couple of the draft beers that I was not as familiar with and decided Dos Equis was my favorite still. The day before, my friend Jerry had talked about going to Ola Tacos and she invited me, so at one point I went down to my room to change and then made my way down to the promenade, which is where the Ola Tacos restaurant is located. It was still pretty early at this point, so we met in the Maravilla Lounge and had a couple of rounds of drinks in there while we waited for the restaurant to open. There were actually four of us who ended up going. There was a little bit of confusion about our reservation, but they got us in and then we were seated and ready to have some tacos. Oh, 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 oh,
After dinner, which was absolutely delicious by the way, we parted ways and I made my way down into the casino to make a donation. I played for about 30-40 minutes and lost about 30-40 bucks and then made my way up to the pool deck because obviously at this point I was feeling particularly parched. And as usual, the pool deck looks super nice at night and there were people up there just kind of hanging out and chilling and there were quite a few people at the pool bar just sitting and chatting and you know, whatever. I had another Tito's and Sprite but I was craving something less sweet so I decided to have a glass of Prosecco and I chatted with the bartender Gabriel from Brazil and him and I got along really well the entire cruise. He was definitely my favorite bartender on board and I stayed up there with him for a while and he let me in on what it's like to live on board a ship and where he's from and all those things and then I made my way back down to my room. All right y'all so that's a wrap for today's festivities. Um, It's a little bit early. It's about 10 and uh, I'm getting ready to go to bed already. My excursion tomorrow, horseback riding, um, I have to be out there at 7.45 uh, meeting them on the pier. So um means I got to leave the room probably about 7.20-ish, 7.25. So um, yeah, it's going to be a little bit of an early day again tomorrow. Um, so I decided rather than staying up all night like I have been, I'll actually get some sleep tonight and hopefully enjoy my excursion and day tomorrow a little bit more than I have been. Um, so yeah, didn't drink a whole lot today either. Had a couple of drinks, um, but got to keep it on the lighter side as well uh, as we, you know, close things out for this adventure. I mean, we still have a few days left, but um, tomorrow's our last port and then we have a couple of sea days and then that's it. So uh, yeah, but, you know, drinking alcohol every day for seven, eight days straight, uh, adds up. So, you know, good thing I got a really good deal on the drink package and don't have to worry about like, you know, hitting eight or nine drinks a day like I normally do. Um, so I'm happy to be able to skip a couple days or do a few lighter days or whatever. Anyway, that's it. That's a wrap. Um, good day today. Chill. Nice sea day. I like that this, uh, itinerary was split up by sea days, um, because, uh, it definitely helps when I was on MSC Divina last year for the repositioning cruise, all of the ports were basically in a row, um, and that was exhausting. Uh, I also got sick in the middle, so that probably didn't help with the whole exhausting part of it. But anyway, um, so yeah, I think the way that this itinerary is laid out is better. I wish we'd gone to Ocean Key, um, but unfortunately this ship didn't stop there this time. But I'll be back there lots of times in the future, I'm sure. But anyway, I want to thank you all so much for traveling with me. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all those fun things. We'll talk soon, and y'all have a good night.